Hello everyone, you're watching ALTV. Something I've seen talked about increasingly on YouTube these days is lost media. This refers to pieces of media that are known about, but not available online, or have little to no evidence for their existence. Some of the most common topics for lost media include lost movies, lost TV show episodes, and lost advertisements. However, I wanted to talk about something a little different. You're no doubt familiar with production logos. Whether it be at the beginning of a movie, or at the end of a TV show, there's something we see all the time and rarely pay much attention to. However, there are many people who do, and that's why channels like Broken Soul, Logic Smash and Closing Logos HD, as well as websites like the Audiovisual Identity Database, are dedicated to preserving logos. However, there are some logos that have not been preserved, and are therefore considered lost. Notable examples of lost logos include the original version of the THX Cimarron trailer, the Disney Mickey head logo from the 1970s, and the Pitts Films logo. There is one, however, that is rather infamous one whose search lasted for over 15 years, and has had countless fan recreations. This is the TAC Communications logo. Before we get into the logo, we need to discuss the company itself. The TAC Communications Company was founded in 1974 by television producer Norman Lear and businessman Jerry Perenchio. The company primarily specialised in producing sitcoms and would go on to produce some of the most successful of the 70s and 80s, such as The Jeffersons, One Day at a Time and The Facts of Life. In 1982, Lear and Perenchio acquired film studio Avco Embassy Pictures, renaming it to simply Embassy Pictures. At the same time, Tech Communications was renamed to Embassy Television. Embassy would then be sold to the Coca-Cola Company in 1985, and then again to Columbia Pictures in 1987. Columbia was acquired by Sony in 1991, and Embassy, which by this point had been renamed ELP Communications, was fully merged into Columbia TriStar Television in 1998. Columbia TriStar Television would then be renamed Sony Pictures Television in 2002, which it is still known as today. This history lesson might seem a little excessive, but I promise it will be useful soon. So now, it's time to get to the actual main point of the video, the Tech Communications logo itself. Originally, the company didn't use an on-screen logo, instead opting to simply have an in-credit notice at the end of their shows. Then, in around 1979, Tat introduced their first ever on-screen logo, which would be used until the company was renamed in 1982. So you might be wondering, that's three years of usage, shouldn't it be that hard to find this logo, right? And you'd be right, it shouldn't. But unfortunately, the TAT logo fell victim to a common practice called logo plastering. Essentially, logo plastering is when a company's logo is replaced by another, whether it be due to the company being taken over by another company, or the company just wanted to use more recent logos instead. This has made finding all the logos much harder, and TAT is no exception. Most prints of their shows will likely contain the Embassy, Columbia TriStar, or Sony Pictures Television logos, instead of the TAT Communications logo. This isn't helped by the fact that Sony Pictures Television is notorious for plastering all the logos with their own. So this essentially means that the logo would have only been seen from 1979 to 1982, right? Well, not exactly. Supposedly, the logo was last seen on a Norman Lear marathon on TV Land in 2002. However, no one has been able to find any evidence of this. It was also believed that VHS releases of Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, which was another TAT show, contained the logo, but this was later disproved. Because of this, a full-on search began to find the logo. By using the Wayback Machine to access Avid's predecessor, the CLG Wiki, the earliest thread I could find about the logo was from April 2009, though considering every page past 11 isn't archived, it's possible the logo was first mentioned there earlier. 
A thread from 2016 implies that the search seemed to begin sometime in the early 2000s on the CLG Yahoo group. Supposedly, a user in the group had provided a still image of the logo, but not a video. Here's what that image looked like. The logo's animation was described as follows. On a light blue background, we see a black rounded rectangle with TAT in white, written in a font similar to the Sega logo. Underneath it are the words Communications Company, also in white. A white star would then rise up onto the logo. For years, it was debated on how this star actually animated. Some thought it rose from the bottom of the screen, and some thought it zoomed in or out. The Yahoo user didn't just share an image, however. They also provided an audio recording of what they claimed to be the logo's jingle. This recording was supposedly from a rerun of One Day at a Time. Due to the obscure nature of the logo in general, people were unsure if this actually was the tech communications jingle. However, more audio recordings of the jingle were later discovered, including one with a voiceover. It's all on CBS Friday night. This is CBS. And one that gets cut off at the end. As these recordings were taken from other shows produced by them, for many, this basically confirmed that this was in fact the jingle used in the Tech Communications logo. The discovery of the jingle, combined with a vague description of the logo, led to several recreations appearing on YouTube. The sheer number of recreations is a large factor as to why the Tech logo is so infamous, with some users even claiming the remakes were real, even though they weren't. There didn't seem to be any more information about the logo until March 3rd, 2017, when CLG Wiki user BGVA posted, I do know that the logo exists. I remember seeing it on reruns of the Jeffersons on WGN circa 1995. I only saw it once, so my memory is very hazy. For some reason, I remember the logo having an orange border, not the baby blue one seen in the umpteen YouTube recreations. And yes, the logo we keep seeing looks like it was used for print, i.e. trade magazines. The episode was titled, Me and Mr. G. I also remember some sort of glowing or flash effect, and that I found the logo creepy. I'm surprised this one has fallen through the cracks, given how many other obscure logos find their way to YouTube. But if you can find anyone with WGN Jefferson's reruns from the 90s, that's a good start. A day later, they then said that the black box that surrounded the tat text was actually navy blue, rather than black. It was thought that this might have been a variant of the logo, likely made for that specific episode. It was also around this time that the logo used in the original image was discovered to actually be the print logo used by Tat on advertisements at the time. After this, many potential ways of finding the logo were discussed, such as looking for old VHS recordings, or even contacting Norman Lear. The latter of which was quickly shot down after a similar incident when a user contacted Sony which got them banned. The search didn't really seem to go anywhere after that. That was until... On January 1st, 2018, YouTube user Panoni4 uploaded a video titled October 21st, 1980 Commercials. As you'd expect, this video contained adverts from that day. Specifically, the adverts were taken from a CBS daytime rerun of One Day at a Time with the video even including the end credits of the episode. And after the end credits rolled, we were treated to this. This is CBS. After almost 15 years of searching, the Tech Communications logo was finally found, even if it was cut short by the CBS item. Visually, it seemed that the logo was quite different to how it was initially described taking place on a black background with no rectangle, and the communications company's text is in a completely different font. The initial descriptions were correct about the logo featuring a star, although it is orange instead of white. It's possible that the orange background comes from the fact that the logo begins with the star taking up the entire screen and then zooming out. After this discovery, even more recreations began popping up online, though this time they all look more similar to each other. The fact that a lot of these are so realistic looking has likely tricked many people into thinking the logo has actually been found. There have also been many memes of the logo, likely due to its notoriety in the logo community. But since then, nothing else seems to have been found.
As of now, the TAC Communications logo has yet to be found in full, but the fact that it has already been partially found means it is likely that the full logo will be found sometime in the future. As for how that can be done, the best way to look for this logo would be to look for old recordings of TAC shows from 1979 to 1982 as it's likely that any future reruns of their shows will continue to replace the logo with one of their successors logos. But who knows, maybe it will appear one day. But until then, the logo remains partially lost. And that's all for today. This is without a doubt the biggest video I've ever made for this channel, and if enough people like it, I'll consider making more videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. And thank you for watching ALTV.